Now tonight we're learning more about the suspension and investigation of Georgetown University's women's basketball coach and his assistant. In the meantime, some of Keith Brown's players are coming to his defense while admitting that his technique borders on abusive. Steven Cheetah has the new details on the story you saw first on 7. Steven? Autry, we have learned that prior to the suspension of the coach and assistant coach and the launching of this internal investigation that one of the female basketball players here at Georgetown attempted suicide. Abusive tactics grabbed headlines after video of a coach at Rutgers University led to his firing. Now, weeks before the start of the women's basketball season, Georgetown University suspended coach Keith Brown and assistant coach Tim Valentine amid allegations their tactics verge on abusive. I don't think verbal abuse is, a, is good in any situation, so it's definitely unfortunate, but hopefully it gets solved quickly. The investigation also comes days after one of the players apparently attempted suicide. The player's friends say she's home now with her family and getting better. Do not put a week in the weary. Meanwhile, other players acknowledge Brown's tactics can be harsh. It's always just intense. He's intense, intense. The players also say Brown uses language which some might find offensive. To any D1 school and ask the coaches, do you swear? I'm pretty sure every coach in America would swear. Meanwhile, after repeated questions about the situation with the coach, Georgetown issued a statement. It says, two weeks ago, concerns were raised regarding unprofessional conduct and the use of inappropriate language in coaching the Georgetown University women's basketball team. As soon as we learned of this, the university immediately started an investigation. I think a lot of this was blown out of portion. It's unnecessary, to be honest. We just want to play. That's all we want to do. We want our coach back. Now, we must point out that uh, Georgetown University does not provide any information about the private lives of its students. Also, at this point, we have no information which would directly link the suspension of the coach and assistant coach and this investigation to the attempted suicide of one of the players. Uh, reporting live, Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News.